renal tubular acidosis. In this case, we have a normal anion gap metabolic acidosis. There are different type of RTEs. So, first of all, we talk about type 4 RTE. Now, let us see what the basic pathophysiology of this condition. Normally, aldosterone comes in a act on the DCT and collecting tubule. What it does it? Let us say it absorbs 2 sodium and it is absorbed actively, water follows passively. This is normal. In return, as two positive particles have entered the body, as per law of electrostat, body has to excrete two positive particles. So, one H ion will go out and one potassium will go out. This is normal. In RTA type 4, aldosterone level is reduced. With result, lesser amount of sodium will be reabsorbed. So, H ion will stay in the body. It will lead to acidosis. Potassium will also remain in the body. That lead to hyperkalemia. So, we get hyperkalemia in type 4 RTA, which is the hallmark of this condition. Now, what are the causes? Tubular interstitial disease and diabetes. In fact, diabetes is, is the commonest cause of type 4 RTA. Otherwise, hypoadrenalism like Addison disease, drug like potassium spinning dietic and side and ACI. Urine has persistently high sodium despite low sodium diet. In the treatment remove the cause like if it is drug like ACI and side, you can use fidocortisone or we can use fusamide to cause loss of potassium from the body or we can use oral potassium chelating resin, but in some time we may even have to use soda bicarb also. Then we talk about type 2 RTAs also known as proximal RTA because here the problem lies in the PCT. Now we all know that filtrate come from glomerulus to the tubules. The composition of filtrate is almost same as plasma except that it does not contain protein. What is reabsorbed here? What is reabsorbed here is sodium chloride bicarbonate bicarbonate potassium water all these are reabsorbed at pct as the pct is not functioning properly so there will not be reabsorption of bicarbonate bicarbonate will go out of the body and as you know gain of acid is acidosis and loss of alkali this is acid alkali gain acid is acidosis loss alkali is acidosis loss of bicarb will lead to acidosis there is loss of potassium also so that lead to profound that lead to hypokalemia also okay but dct can very well secrete h ions so urine ph is usually less than 5.5 of course, in the initial stages, it may be on the slightly on the higher side also, but finally it goes to below 5.5. Hypercalciuria occurs, but since urine citrate is normal, the renal stone formation is not a problem. And due to hypercalciuria, there is hypocalcemia which lead to osteomalacia. 
what test we do? We do IV soda bicarb loading test, we give soda bicarb IV and in this case the fraction of bicarb accretion will be more than 15 percent, in a normal person it is less than 15 percent. Treatment is high dose of soda bicarb, maybe even more than 10 millimole per kg per day. Then we have distal type of RTA, so called type 1 RTA also. Site of disease is again DCT. So, here as usual aldosterone comes and two sodium are reabsorbed. As per law of electrostat, one HIN and one potassium goes out. Okay. 2 positive in, 2 positive out. Now, in this case, as aldosterone level is normal, 2 sodium are absorbed as usual. The problem lies that HIN secretion in tubule is defective. So, HIN remain in the body that lead to acidosis. But remember, 2 sodium has come in. And as per law of electrostat body has to throw out two positive particles. So, double potassium will go out that lead to profound hypo that lead to profound hypokalemia. So, we have acidosis with hypokalemia in this case. Now, what are the causes of this condition? This may occur by drug like M4 tericin SLE Jogren syndrome. And as there is hypercalciuria is there, so that lead to why hypercalciuria? Because of buffing of H ion with calcium in the bones. That lead to rickett and osteomalacia. Okay, that lead to remember same thing happen in type 2 RT also. There also this problem happen. Now, that lead to nephrocalcinosis, a renal stone. Why urinary citrate is reduced? That precipitates the calcium in the tubule as well as in the nephron. So, renal stone formation and nephrocalcinosis is a feature because of reduced urinary citrate. Remember, in type 2 RTA, urinary citrate was normal, so that why there was no stone formation. So, complication it can lead to renal calculi, which can block the tubule, which can lead to end stage renal disease. And one more thing, as H ion is not coming in the urine, the urine pH always remain more than 5.5, or we can say there is defective acidification of urine. And the most accurate test is ammonium chloride test, so called acid load is given. We give orally soda ammonium chloride, and but still, because urine pH remain more than 5.5 despite acidic blood because of ammonium chloride. So in this case, you treat again. You treat by soda bicarb, but we need soda bicarb not more than 4 millimole per kg per day. Okay, because this is because this is absorbed in PCT. So, this is the best way of correction of acidosis. So, now let me give you summary of the RTA. Okay. So, point to remember R. In type 4 RTA, hyperkalemia occurs. In type 2 RTA, hypokalemia occurs, which typically occurs in condition like Fanconi syndrome. Type 1 RTA, hypokalemia occurs, but urine pH is more than 5.5. Hypercalciuria renal stone formation and because urinary citrate is reduced.